Have you ever watched professional athletes and just thought, wow, I want to get paid like them, but I don't want to do any of the actual training or work? Well, turns out you're not the only one. Meet Carlos Kaiser, a Brazilian wannabe athlete who throughout the 1980s made a career out of conning professional soccer teams into signing him and then faking injuries so he didn't have to actually play. Now Kaiser's strategy was so simple it would never work nowadays. With all the information and scouting reports readily available online, a quick Google search would easily disprove his lies. You see, his MO was to befriend actual professional athletes or journalists and get recommended to teams through them as some sort of international sensation they just hadn't heard of yet. Once signed by the team, he'd go on to fake a hamstring injury during training and therefore continue to get paid without ever having to actually play in a game. He pulled the stunt off at several different teams, primarily across Brazil, for well over a decade, even going as far as carrying around a toy cell phone and pretending to have conversations in English with teams from the United Kingdom in an effort to give the impression that he was highly in demand overseas. The problem with this, however, was that Carlos didn't actually speak any English, and he would just kind of rattle off gibberish while on the phone. This led to team staff catching him in the lie on more than one occasion and cutting him from the team. Nevertheless, anytime he got cut, Carlos Kaiser would simply move on to another team and pull the stunt all over again, making a living through six-month contract after six-month contract. Carlos Kaiser's best moment, however, may have occurred while he was with Bangu, a club in Western Rio. Team management was so frustrated that this apparent superstar had yet to take the field, they demanded he play in the next match. While warming up to enter the game in the 82nd minute, a quick-thinking Kaiser noticed a group of rowdy fans shouting at him, and thus he charged over, hopped the divider, and began to fight these fans, earning himself an ejection from the game before even stepping onto the pitch. After the game, the team owner furiously charged into the dressing room, demanding an explanation for what happened from Kaiser, who then went on to explain that he had overheard the fans calling the owner himself a thief, and Carlos felt it was his duty to defend his boss's honor. Now, not only did this lie actually work, but the owner himself kissed Carlos and gave him a six-month extension on his contract. In the early 90s, Carlos Kaiser eventually retired this con act, and now, somewhat ironically, works as a personal trainer at a bodybuilding gym in Rio. When asked if he regrets anything or feels any shame about his scams, he simply stated, I do not regret anything. Clubs already deceive so many players. Someone had to be the Avenger.